Hello, welcome to In 5 Minutes. The concept of thermal runaway is the next topic of discussion. Now, your output current or collector current is the combination of the main IB, IB which is because of the emitter current IE. So, this current is basically because of majority carriers and this current we call it as leakage current which is because of minority carriers leakage current because of minority carriers now the power dissipation of the transistor pd can be written as the formula for pd can be written as output current ic square into the resistance output resistance ro you can see so your power dissipation now depends only on the ic square right and your ic the equation for ic is written over here now if the junction temperature increases what happens if the temperature increases more number of minority carriers generated so if the number of minority carriers is increasing what will increase it will increase icbo what is icbo icbo is collector to base current with emitter open that is the third terminal open so if the minority carrier increases leakage current is because of minority carriers so your icbo will increase if icbo is increasing your ic will increase one plus beta times of the icbo the practical value of can say beta is around for example if you take it as 300 so if your icbo changes by a small value your ic changes by a larger value because we are multiplying icbo with 301 so 301 times your ic will increase if your IC is increasing, what will increase? The power dissipation in the transistor. So minority carriers will increase what? It will increase IC. If IC increases, what will increase? Power dissipation in the transistor will increase heat. That is, if heat is increasing, what will increase? Again, temperature will increase. If temperature is increasing, the whole process repeats again. So this is the process of thermal runaway. If the temperature increases, again, number of minority carriers generation will be increased again ic increases again power dissipated across the transistor increases which is in the form of heat again the temperature increases and this process continues this entire process can lead to the damage of the device if it is not controlled so in order to protect the device what we should do we should operate it at a particular temperature you can say to avoid thermal runaway otherwise what it will do if the process is repeating it will damage the device so in order to avoid this process what we need to do we need to operate it at a proper temperature in order to avoid thermal runaway this is the concept of thermal runaway